Hello and welcome to my channel. Here I review movies and today I saw Scoop. It's a political thriller about the infamous BBC interview with Prince Andrew that went viral and how they managed to get it. The film is based on a book by Samantha McAllister and Peter Moffat and Jeff Busatil adapted it into a screenplay. Philip Martin directed the film which stars Billy Piper as Samantha McAllister, Gillian Anderson as Emily Maitlis, and Rufus Sewell as Prince Andrew. Okay, we're gonna start with the good, move on to the bad, and finish up with a rating and some personal thoughts. So let's get into it. There isn't much good here, but they did a couple of things right. The visual journey is aesthetically pleasing to look at. It takes place in a modern city with fashionable costume work and interesting sets, and they captured the conversations well. The camera work is smooth with a lot of good movement. The lighting is soft and inviting, and it's easy to follow along with. The cast is also doing a good job of their roles. Rufus Sewell as Prince Andrew plays a doddering old man that doesn't seem to quite understand what's happening. Gillian Anderson is the trusty older woman who understands what it takes to succeed and fits in flawlessly, and Billy Piper is the brash young woman who has to break the rules to get ahead. They're not given a lot to work with beyond intense exposition dumping and brief monologues about the importance of good journalism, but they deliver their lines well. Sadly, that's where this film's positives end. The movie's story is basically one big circle jerk about how amazing the journalists at BBC are for getting this interview. It tries to paint their journey as arduous and groundbreaking, while also acknowledging that they basically just got lucky and they weren't even close to being the first ones to break the news. The interview itself makes up a very short part of the film, and the rest of it is about wishy-washy meetings between Sam and Prince Andrew's advisors. The characters don't progress the story forward at all, real-world events do, and Sam is just in the right place at the right time. Despite this, the film tries to paint her as some kind of scrappy hero fighting for her place in the world of journalism. On top of that, half of the dialogue is self-righteous repetition of newspaper platitudes like, we have to get this right or no one will trust us again, or if we don't get to the truth, who will? The characters are mostly insufferable stereotypes that don't have any redeeming qualities. Sam is the biggest example. She is a rule breaker who is never punished for any of her flaws. She also never learns or grows as a character. One of the toughest moments to swallow was watching her complain about how no one wants to work with her after watching her bulldoze through her colleagues' opinions and boundaries for an hour. How delusional can one woman be? And the actors suffered for it. None of them got a real chance to stand out. Prince Andrew, for example, is a highly accomplished man who got away with this for a very long time. There's surely more to the man than a bumbling idiot. If you're watching this film, you'd never know it. On top of the story being self-masturbation, there's nothing else to get out of the film. Like, the visual journey might be nice to look at, but no part of it stands out as special. Even the interview is basically just two people in a slightly extravagant-looking room talking. They're not having a heated debate or even a dramatic reveal. It's just a conversation that Andrew looks really bad in. It's the most anticlimactic ending imaginable, especially given that it's a dramatization. The visual journey is so bland that you could actually listen to the film and get the same level of excitement out of it. Or you could, if the music wasn't so awful. For the entire film, they have a total of four tracks that play on a loop. It's instrumental music that adds a bit of mystery and tension, but mostly just sounds out of place. It would have been forgettable if they had had a few more tracks to shuffle in, but as it is, the series of annoying beeping sounds they call music is burned into my brain. Overall, Scoop is barely a film, let alone something you should watch. It's about an interview that went viral for like a week, with a guy who still hasn't been brought to justice. Instead of exploring the victims or their stories at all, it's about the women who accomplished nothing and patting themselves on the back. If you're into that type of thing, you could try this. Otherwise, I'd go watch literally anything else. As for a rating, I'd give this film a 2 out of 10. Remember, these are just my thoughts on the film. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Bye bye